Well, what's up, guys? Well, it's about two o'clock right now, so I've got about four, four or so hours to fish. I want to see how this bite is. It was warm yesterday, and now it's cold. Got a small little cold front coming through. Had a rain, dropped the temperatures down quite a bit. But uh, let's see if we still got a good bite. So let's see. It is dark and gloomy. Been like this all day. I'm gonna start off with some natural color baits because this water is really clear, really clear. So I got me a uh, shiner on. Shido Shad. Nice big five inch swim bait. See if we can get anything off of that. Dang no. I can see my bait all the way down there. Wow. This is super clear water. Well, good thing I brought two rods with fluorocarbon. I got another one with a 10 pound braid and fluorocarbon leader, so this water is super clear. Oh, I just had a follower. Looked like about a pounder. Dang. I bet if I was sitting down, that bass would have smoked it. All right, let's try the worm out. See if that might get any bites. There we go. Nope. Got hit by something. There's a bass right there too. Followed it. Now he turned away. Let's see if I can get it with a worm. There we go. Oh damn son. Oh this worm might be too big for whatever was biting on it. They have to downsize, and guess what? I forgot my worms. Oh, just had another bass follow this. Looks like they're being really finicky. There we go. First fish. And it's a little guy, but it's a first fish. That felt good. Right up the middle too. Nice. All right guys, get this little guy out of here. Ooh, so violent. All right, well, that's the first one. Hopefully it's not the only one. There we go. That feels like a nice one. Nope. And he got off. Starting to get a little windier. So that might up my chances of getting hook, hook up, hula, hookups. This guy's here is pending. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, shh. Please don't get off. Oh my goodness. Oh, Come on, baby. Oh my, that's a big one. Look at that thing. Ugh. Please don't get off. Oh man, I thought it was bigger. Wow. This is a nice one too. Woo! He ain't going nowhere. Check that out guys. Nice. Second bass of the day, finally. It's probably three pounds. Let's see what we got. 
Oh yeah, we do have a three pounder. It's a three one, between three one and three two. Nice, three one, three two. how big this bass is Ooh, just over 19 inches all right nice chunk let's let the guy go a slow bite but man I am glad I got that second bass that was a nice chunk definitely not my biggest but definitely a nice chunk there we go there we go Oh yes, another bass. Thank you. Another one on the swim bait too, little guy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. I kind of knew I was going to get here running along the side right there at this grass line. Really shallow right here. I can see the bass and the bass can see me. There we go. Another little guy. That was unexpected. All right, little guy. Thank you. There we go. Another little guy. All right, thank you. Oh my gosh. Bass just followed it up. Look, it's just sitting there. Two bass right there. Man, they're being really finicky. All right, that guy's leaving on the jet ski there. Which is good. little guy too I don't know if it was the same bass that was eyeballing it the whole time another little dink wow the smallest of the day all right there you go little guy starting to get chilly out here I kind of knew that guy on the jet ski wouldn't be out here too long once he got wet and it started getting windy he was gone. There we go, much better. Guess I'm gonna finish the last probably 40 minutes out here, see if I can get more bites. But yeah, after that wind died down, the bite also tied down. It was 15, 20 minutes of action, that's it. Here we go. 
They no, we got off. Oof. That was not a very good hook set. I'll tell you that right there. Swimming toward me and it's off. Oh my gosh, that's the second bass in a row. Ugh. They're being really finicky today. We get a bunch of follows, little taps and hits, and a few getting off. Man, I'm trying to take whatever I can get. There we go. No, we got off too. Why? Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh yes, that guy got it right there too. And it's the second biggest of the day. Nice. Whoo, finally. Another bass, right up the middle too. Nice. Thank you, buddy. All right, that makes bass number seven. And this swim bait, I think, is done. I use this swim bait quite a lot, I'm trying to get the most out of it before. Uh, yeah, it's done. Yeah, just trying to get the most out of my soft plastics before they are retired. Let's see, yeah, use this one. Still a little bit of light. Got about 10, 15 minutes. I'm definitely going to head in once it gets dark. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Oh yes, another nice one guys. Another nice one. There we go, two pounder right here. And this hook just came out too. All right, let's see how much this chunk is. It might be the same, another three pounder. Oh, we got two pounds on the dot. Try that again. Yep, two pounds on the dot. Nice. All right. Here we go. That's a good one. Nope. That's eh, probably about a pound and a half. All right. Thank you, buddy. Ooh, fussy fella. Give me my. Try eating this. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. If I catch another bass, it'd be a double digit evening here. You know what? I'm feeling pretty optimistic. Let's see if we can do it. The last uh, probably 10, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Ooh. Oh man, I got hit hard too. As soon as it hit the water. Wow. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna get my 10th bass. Only one thing I can do is 
go to a darker swim bait. There we go, guys. Little guy, too. Finally, the tenth bass, guys. I don't know if you can see it. <gasps> Ooh, I just dropped my rod and reel in the water. <laughs> All right, guys. I don't know if y'all guys can see it, but here you go. The tenth bass. Off the black pattern now. All right, guys. Thank you for making bass number 10. Put me in the double digits. Nice. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little session. Definitely started off really slow, and honestly, I thought it was going to be a one-two bass kind of evening. But, uh, yeah, turned out to be a double-digit day. The two biggest was a 3-1 and a 2-pound bass. And, uh, yeah, everything was off of that Roadrunner underspin. At first, I was throwing a weedless underspin set up. I was throwing an A-rig, spinner baits, lipless crankbaits, crankbaits, and a few different other styles of swim baits. And nothing was really happening, even Texas rig. Uh, I got a few bites, but they were all, like, picking at it. And, yeah, it's just a weird day, you know? Just not the most favorable conditions. Uh, it rained earlier. And that really dropped the temperature down fast and quickly. So I thought that might have an impact on how the bite was. And me thinking it was uh, just overall uh, cloudy all day, I thought it might be a better bite. But hey, you know, take what you can. So it was something interesting to learn out here. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you out there. Tight lines and keep fishing. Later.